So now define the vertex buffer object object. Okay, I'm going to create it here. Let's call it VBO, which stands for vertex buffer object, and the GL gen buffers one buffer bind that buffer bind buffer to gl uh, array buffer yes array buffer and uh, vbo and uh, gl buffer data buffer data and first argument is gl array buffer yes uh, so the next argument is how many bytes so this is six times three which is 18 and 18 is 18 times four bytes which is 72 bytes and a triangle array and uh, geostatic draw static not star but static draw and yes create the vertex attribute pointers so gl vertex attrib attrib pointer Vertex attribute pointer. So for the location zero, uh, here in the we specify the location zero, which is which are the positions. So for the location zero, we have uh, three values for each vertex. Type gl um, float. GL false. It's I don't know. It's this GL false, not plus, but false. False. It is about uh, to transpose or normalize this. So um, I can't remember. So I'll just leave it as GL false. Uh, the stride is twenty four byte yes after the vertices starts from zero and after 24 so so in a row we have six values and six times four bytes so the next vertex position starts at 24th byte and the offset is c types dot uh, c underscore void pointer yes and zero let's enable so gl enable uh, vertex attribute array ver, vertex attribute array and zero so this is the vertex attribute pointer for the positions for these now set for the colors and I'm just going to copy this and the colors are at layout location 1 they have three values uh, the stride is ok but the offset is 12 bytes so here is 0, 0 to 4, 8 and 12 so the color starts here at the at 12th 12, 12 byte and enable vertex attribute array 1 yes ok now just set the GL clear color here GL clear color zero 
0.15 and 0.1 and the alpha value or transparency is 1. So if you want to know a little bit more about this uh, OpenGL stuff, especially Python and PyOpenGL, I have a video series on Python and OpenGL programming using PyOpenGL, so you can watch those. But for now, this 72 value, I'm going to change this to length of triangle, which gives us 18 and times 4. So now it's little, if we change these vertices and colors, we don't have to recalculate over and over. So, okay. Uh, so now we are still having uh, a window with the uh, clear color set to this dark, dark green. So let's draw the triangle. So in the draw on draw method, I'm going to use the GL draw race and uh, the mode will be the GL triangles. Uh, start with the first element, so which is the zero, I mean, and uh, how many vertices to draw free. So if everything went okay, now we should see a colored triangle. Yes. So See you in the next video.